All right. So here we have this Venerci seven inch tablet oscilloscope. And there's your model number. If you look it up on Amazon, they're about $150. And it comes packaged really well. It comes with three probes, the BNC style connection probes. Um, one of them is the 100X probe. So if you have like very high power amplifiers, you'll want to use this one, this one with the red base. And it also comes with two regular uh, 1X slash 10x probes and i haven't even used those yet because i have other oscilloscopes and i have other probes laying around so here's one from another oscilloscope and they're all pretty much the same you know they have an adjuster here so you can adjust them and then so you can fine tune the square wave. That way you know that what you're looking at is a true, you know what it's supposed to be. And then right here you have a switch that goes from 1X to 10X. So 10X will be sufficient for most everything that you use, car audio related. Uh, so let's just put the phone on the stand here. And let's turn it on and uh, get to it. Now, it boots up pretty fast. Bam, and we're in business. We can start using it. Okay, so on the top we have BNC connectors, two of them. This is channel one, this one's channel two. In the middle, we have your tab for a uh, 1000 hertz square wave so you can calibrate your probe. We have a type C USB jack for charging purposes and for connecting it to your computer. Then we have the red button, which is your on and off button. So, right now, let me back the camera up a little bit. And I'm just going to connect the probe to channel one. And I'm going to connect the probe to the 1000 kilohertz square wave tab. So if you hit the control button over here in the top right hand corner, this is touch screen, very sensitive. Hit the control C, you got some selections here. So if you hit the auto set button, you'd hear the, the relays kick in. You see the, the wave adjusted itself. So I'm going to shut up and, and let you hear the relays kick in. All right. So, and then you've got a run and stop button. So right here it's stopped. So now the waveform will stay on the screen. So if you're working on something like a, repairing an amplifier or something and you want to freeze frame the the waveform on the screen that then that's how you do that you got your run stop now now it's in run mode so it's generating the uh the wave on the screen so these oscilloscopes they come with this little bitty screwdriver it's an adjustment screwdriver so what you do is what i like to do is See, to adjust the time alignment, you just tap on the screen one way or the other. You know, it splits right here in the middle. All right. So and then you hit your control button and you've got your voltage. Here's your channel one. Here's your channel two. So you can turn channel two on. And now you got a blue line here, two, channel two. Channel one is yellow. Channel 2 is blue. See, there's nothing on channel 2. We're going to turn it off. But you can move it around. You know, uh, and right here, right where it says move fast, you can 
move slow, hit it to move slow so you can get it you know, dialed in exactly where you want to put it. But we're going to turn channel 2 off. See, channel 2 disappeared. I'm going to put it back on move fast. And now we got the uh, waveform in the screen. And these are your time. Like if you want, like up here right here, so your time and your frequency. If you want to put it on each section to measure, to measure each square wave. See, that's 500. What is that, microseconds? What, whatever. Uh, whatever that time frame is. But you can turn that off. It's on auto right now, trigger mode auto. The trigger edge rising and falling. Uh, I guess my hand might be in the way for some of that. But anyway, so we're going to adjust this just like we did on the other one. See, you just want to turn, turn that knob until, until that wave is square. And right there, right there looks good to me. So now. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to hook this thing up to, and it, it is on 10X. It is on 10X. So we, we go over here to channel one. Oh, well, so now we, we did have it on 100X, and I doubt that it changed anything. But we can always double check it. I guess it'd help if I turn it back on. Huh. <laughs> yeah, see, it still looks looks like a good square, good square wave. But yeah, it's uh, it's important for the voltage on the screen. The volts are a mess right here. If you have your probe on 10x, then you want to have your oscilloscope on 10x as well. So let's hook this up to the amplifier I'm going to turn the radio on now I'm going to turn the amplifier on I'm going to unpause it now, as you can see, we're on one volt per division. Now, look, auto set. Bam. Automatically puts you where you, you know, about where you need to be. Now, if you want a big waveform on the screen while you're adjusting the gain, so I'm going to, I'm going to adjust the gain on here on the amplifier. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it up. You can see, you can see it flat, flat wave, right? That is hard, hard, hard clipping right there. So you want to back it down. And there we go. It's a little, there's just a little bit of clipping on the very top part. Just ever so slightly. I can see it. It looks kind of rounded, but now see how it's flattening out. Turn it back down. Now it's rounded. That's where I would set the gains at on this amplifier. Very, very easy to do. 
this oscilloscope is very, very, very user friendly. There's not a whole lot to adjust uh, on the screen to get you where you need to be. Again, if you hit the, uh, you know, you've got your voltage up and down here on the screen. Um, you know, you've got, of course, it looks like it's square wave now, but it's just because right there's five volts per division. 10 volts per division, 25 volts per division, and then 50 volts per division. So with this probe, the 10X probe, then, you know, this is the most uh, voltage per division that you can use this probe for. So you know, it's going to be good for 5,000 to 8 or 10,000 watt amp. And if you're going bigger than that, then uh, you want to use the 100x probe. Now the track changed to one kilohertz. That's why the wave disappeared. We'll put it back on 40 hertz. It's a five minute track. So again, I've had this thing for less than a year. It's uh, I've had zero issues out of it whatsoever. Uh, bottom left hand corner here. What I was saying earlier, 40 hertz is on the screen. And then right there's your volts RMS, 84.4 volts RMS. And you know, you can put other information on the screen as well, but just to have this oscilloscope for amplifier gain setting purposes, that's really the only information on the screen that you need. And, uh, you know, again, you can take these and measure in between each, uh, each waveform. You know, you got your, your time here in the top left-hand corner. You can make those disappear. Um, I'll probably hit something that I shouldn't have because normally those are not on there. But anyway. So $150, this is probably my favorite oscilloscope out of the three that I have. The O1, it, it does a really, really good job. But if one of these oscilloscopes went down, then I would repurchase this one. I probably would not repurchase the O1. I would definitely repurchase this Veneer C7 inch uh, tablet oscilloscope. Uh, if this one went down, I would probably just throw it in the trash and not worry, you know, not think anything else about it, but you know, you get what you pay for this one right here, $150. And it is a very, very, very good oscilloscope user friendly. I can't say enough about it anyway. So that's all for this one. Uh, just let me know what you think. Um, is it worth it to you? $150 versus $40 to set the gains? I guess it just all depends on how many gains that you're setting, you know, uh, and how detailed that you are. You know, do you have uh, two amplifiers? If you're gain matching, that's something else. You can phase match, you know, if you've got a dual channel, you know, hook up another probe and you have the both of the, the waveforms on the screen, you can you can match the output uh, not only for voltage output, but you can also phase match the outputs of the amplifier. And that means is you know if you have two uh, two waveforms on the screen, you want to adjust the phase potentiometer on one or both of the amplifiers until they both line up exactly perfect. So uh, that's another advantage of having this oscilloscope versus a small pocket oscilloscope. So, all right. So that, that's all for this one. The Veneer C 7-inch uh, tablet oscilloscope. You can get it on Amazon, 150 bucks. I do recommend it.